Victoria Stowell here at Boxer Stock with UnleashMagazine.com and great guitar in the background. I think the media has a lot to do with it. If you, if there's been a, a bite or an attack on somebody by a dog, it's 80% more likely to make the news when it's from a pit bull rather than from a Labrador, say. Right. And I, I think the media has to educate people and they have a responsibility to print the good stuff as well as the negative stuff. And I think it's a fear. Ignorance breeds fear. The more you introduce people into what these bully breeds are really about, that there are most, the majority of these dogs are fantastic dogs and make great family pets. The more you can, you can bring people's minds around. But unfortunately, because people have such a bad association with them via the media, via all the stories that they hear, they're gonna think what they're gonna think unless they're exposed to the truth. Breed-specific legislation does not work. I'm from Britain. They've had breed-specific legislation where they've banned pit bulls for 20 years. They did that in order to stop attacks and to, to lower the bite statistics. Since they've banned pit bulls, bite statistics have increased. Really? The amount of people going to emergency rooms because of bites have increased by 50% and 150% in Scotland. The Netherlands had a breed ban for 15 years, but the same thing was happening there. So they repealed that ban. Breed-specific le legislation tackles the wrong end of the leash. Look, it's the person that breeds irresponsibly or makes that dog aggressive by the way they train it. And so we need to be looking at the person, the individual person and the way they've trained that dog rather than deeming every single dog of a certain breed as dangerous. It's purely a witch hunt. And in Britain, innocent dogs are being taken away from their homes, as is happening here in the United States. Right. In Denver, in Cincinnati, in parts of Miami, dogs, great family dogs, are being removed from their homes just, just the way they look. I think that's a form of intense prejudice. We don't like it in people. Why should it be acceptable in dogs? To remedy the problem, I think we need to really get the lawmakers on board because they're the ones and the, the people in the council and the people who, who make these laws that actually don't really understand what these dogs are all about. I think we need to look at every single individual dog as an individual, regardless of breed, every situation as an individual situation. There are dangerous dogs of all breeds. There are good dogs of all breeds. Just tackling a certain breed is not achieving what you want to achieve. There are more bites happening in this country too. Right. Bite statistics are rising. 800,000 people approximately went to the, med to, to the ER last year, needed treatment because of bites from dogs. Now, what, what's happening in this country? In certain areas where the put bull's been banned, um, there are still loads of bites going on from other breeds of dogs, and they're increasing. So, breed specific legislation is, is not working. If you really want to keep people safe, you educate, you take dogs out of the wrong hands. You put them, you, you, you put them into the right hands. You put them into a better environment. That's what you do. You tackle the irresponsible owners that are training these dogs to be aggressive or abusing these dogs. So these dogs have nowhere else to go. Um, bully breeds don't require any different training than say a Chihuahua or a Pomeranian. <laughs> right. I, mean, I train the lot, I train the gamut. I train the smallest Chihuahua, the biggest Great Dane, and I've trained hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pit bulls. And I do exactly the same as I do with a Chihuahua as I do with a pit bull. No difference. But they're bully breeds, they can be impulsive. So every dog's got to learn impulse control. Hey, we humans have got to learn impulse control too. It takes us a while to learn. Same with our dogs. So no, there's absolutely no difference whatsoever. I would say if you're interested in having a bully breed as a pet, then please do your research. See, are you the kind of person that is going to be able to deal with a bully breed in your life? Because they're highly energetic. They need a lot of your time. They need a lot of exercise. They don't get it. They're going to get into mischief. They're highly, highly intelligent. And I always find that really, really intelligent dogs are the ones that get into most trouble. So um, if you're a responsible owner and you understand that by owning a bully breed, you're going to be, could be demonized by neighbors and people in your area. But if you understand all that, 
and you know that this is the kind of breed you want in your life, go for it.